AITA for refusing to go on a holiday with my ex-husband and saying no to remarrying him? Trigger warning. I, 37F, need some perspective on a situation with my ex-husband, who I'll call John, 40M. We were married for a good number of years and have two kids, now close to being teenagers. Up until the last year of our marriage, things were going great. I had a successful business that kept me busy, and it seemed like we were a strong team. But then things changed dramatically. John started to crumble under the pressure and ended up having an emotional affair. To make matters worse, he proposed that we open up our marriage as a solution to his issues. This was completely out of the blue for me, and despite trying to make things work for the sake of our kids, we eventually divorced three years ago. Interestingly, even after our divorce, he never practiced this new polygamous identity he claimed to have adopted. After three years apart, John and I reconnected. He seemed more mature, and I can admit that I still have feelings for him, but my walls are definitely up. We've been seeing each other again for about seven to eight months, but we haven't told the kids yet. Our plan was to spend some time together as a family this summer and see if things go well. If not, we'd just fade out quietly. Here's where the problem starts, John initially booked a cruise for him and the kids, but then he added a ticket for me as well. The cruise is during a week when I have important commitments at work. I work for myself and can be flexible, but there are crucial times when I need to be fully available. Additionally, I was really looking forward to having that long weekend off to spend some time to myself and rest. When I told him I couldn't go, he got upset and accused me of never having time for him, which brought up old wounds. This led to a heated discussion where he suggested we should just move back in together or even remarry, to which I responded with a firm hell no. Now, he feels like I'm playing him, but that's not my intention at all. I want to reconcile and see if we can build something new, but I'm very clear that I never want to get married again. Am I the a-hole for refusing to go on the holiday and being adamant about not wanting to remarry? I'm just trying to protect myself and my kids while seeing if there's a future for us. Update. To make it brief, I had a conversation with John, he was sorry for the way he spoke and arranged a last-minute holiday. We touched the subject again of me not wanting to remarry, and he asked me if I was dating and meeting another person, a ideally perfect man, would I marry him? My answer is that probably. That of course saddened him. I reminded him of how badly we managed out marriage and how quickly he wanted out. So why should I fully trust him with vows again? Which he said it was a good point, but he changed and is better person and will be a better partner. Something in the way he spoke was a bit off. But did not say anything. We barely saw each other and he barely called and talked to me, kids got their suitcase done and they stayed with him for a week before leaving. I went to stay for an afternoon night and he asked me if we could talk once the kids were asleep. He has prostate cancer and it's quite early that the doctors put him in some sort of observance period where they wait how it evolves. They are confident in recovering this. He said that he is worrying about the kids and me. He is terrified this will become his death sentence and he knows he is behaving poorly. I don't think I handled it well, I was kind of speechless and confused. This man is someone who eats well, barely drinks and is always outdoor and doing sports. I think I just hugged him while he cried and told him everything will be alright. Then I left and just called the kids, he promised he will not say anything to them yet. He will wait later when the doctors will start treatments. Yeah in retrospective I am quite sure I was the a-hole, was I.